Hello everyone, today I want to talk about uh, type testing or antibody testing for dogs. I will explain what they are, why you may have them and how to go about getting them. Antibody testing for dogs has recently become more popular due to more pet owners becoming aware of the potential side effects caused by over vaccinating their dog. Led vaccinations play an important role in protecting our dogs as they can and do help prevent serious disease. Tighter tests provide us with an insight into our dog's immune health and can be used as a tool for deciding how often to vaccinate them. This can ensure that we're not over vaccinating or even under vaccinating our four legged friends. First, I'm going to explain what titer testing is. Then I will discuss the benefits of antibody testing and why you may want to titer test your dog, how to go about getting them tested. And finally, I'll explain how the results of a titer test are interpreted so that you can better understand our reporting protocol. So what are antibody titer tests? So if we break the word down, titer, a titer is a number that represents how many times a sample has been diluted. So in the case of an antibody titer test, it is how many times the antibody sample or the dog's blood can be diluted before it can no longer neutralize or inhibit a virus. The greater the number of dilutions, the more concentrated the antibody sample is and therefore the stronger the immune response. Here at Dragon Lab, we use the VaxiCheck Immunocomb antibody assay. It measures the antibody response to canine distemper, canine adenovirus, which causes infectious hepatitis, and parvovirus. These diseases are routinely vaccinated against and they are known as the core vaccines. This type of antibody test is a scientifically proven method of determining immunity and protection levels against the core vaccine agents. So why should you try to test your dog um, and what are the benefits? There are a number of reasons why you may choose to assess your dog's immune health. One may be that you are concerned over the potential side effects of over vaccinating your dog. This is especially the case um, with owners of older pets. Or owners with dogs that have a history of adverse reaction to vaccination. While the risk of vaccine associated adverse reactions is low, even a small risk isn't worth taking if there is no benefit to offset it. A tighter test can determine if vaccination would be of benefit to that dog. Another reason why you may want to tighter test your dog could be that you are concerned that your dog hasn't been adequately vaccinated, so under vaccinated. This would be owners of a dog with an unknown history, so say a rescue dog. It could be, again, owners of older dogs that have not received a booster for a number of years and they may want to check that their dog still has immunity against the three core vaccine agents. Or it could be owners of a new puppy uh, who would like to check that the uh, chosen puppy vaccination schedule has generated the desired immune response. So concentrating on that, um, the, the puppy aspect.
the biggest factor for vaccine failure in puppies is when a virus vaccine is neutralized by antibodies that your puppy has passively received from their mother through the placenta or colostrum during their early puppyhood. These maternally derived antibodies are a temporary immune defense that metabolize and dissipate over time. So that's birth in time. This is a reason why puppy vaccinations are given over a period of two to four weeks. The aim is to vaccinate at a time when the maternal antibodies have dissipated or have been metabolized sufficiently to neutralize the virus vaccine. Also, not so long as to leave the puppy with a long period of disease susceptibility. It's preferable to discover a lack of immunity as soon as possible through antibody testing than to wait a whole year until a booster vaccination is given with the risk of your puppy becoming ill in the meantime through disease due to being inadequately vaccinated. And the tighter test can tell you if your puppy needs an additional vaccine or if previous vaccinations have been successful. So now we move on to how to go about getting your dog tighter tested. So you've heard the benefits of tighter testing and the reason why you may want to get an antibody test for your dog. Um, so how do you go about getting it done? If you're interested in getting your dog tested with us at Dragon Lab, you can call us or send us an email to arrange the test using the details here. Or you can pop over to our website, www.dragonlab.uk, um, to order a test kit. The kit includes a sample tube, labelled Ziploc bags, and a prepaid return envelope. Simply call your vet to organise a blood draw, then pop the sample in the envelope and send it back to us through the post. Samples are analysed on the day of receipt with the result and certificate sent to you by email, text, and WhatsApp the same afternoon. Finally, you'll need to know how to interpret the results. The VaxiCheck antibody test that we perform reports these numbers on a scale zero through to six. Zero being no response or no immunity and six being a very high positive response. A positive control reference is given the value of three and each score is in relation to that control reference. The scale corresponds to the following values of the core virus vaccines. A value of two or greater is considered a strong positive and that means that the animal is protected against the antigen in question. If no antibodies are detected, a score of one or less is seen and your dog is highly likely to benefit from a dose of the corresponding vaccine virus. The Wasava Vaccination Guidelines 2016 state that the presence of antibodies, no matter what the titer, indicates positive immunity and immunological memory is present in the animal. Giving more frequent vaccines to animals in an, in an attempt to increase antibody titer is a pointless exercise. So in conclusion, titer tests and antibody tests can help individual dogs that would benefit from vaccination. Conversely, they can also identify those that are already immune and would not benefit from an, an additional dose of the vaccine virus in question. So your dog may not need that booster at all. But I think the take home is, wouldn't you rather know either way if they are protected first? Thank you for listening. If you enjoyed or if you've got any comments, please put them below. I'll put some links down below as well for the Vasava guidelines and also to the test kit that we offer through Dragon Lab. Um, and give me any ideas on what you think the next short talk should be about. Um, thank you for watching. <laughs>